All right, what are the, what are two inventions that either helped or did not help radio? The two that helped radio the most were the invention of the transistor and the computer. Without either one of those things, we couldn't do most of what we do today. In the early 1940s, radio programs reflected America's involvement in World War II, as I said before. As the number of news and human interest programs grew, evening variety, musical, quiz, and audience participation programs shrunk. During this time, evening dramatic programs exploded in number, but in 1939, television was introduced, and in the future, television would be the cause of radio audiences to collapse, as television actually gave pictures to people instead of them forming in their minds while listening to the radio. It was too expensive to create new forms and take a chance on an unknown show. So, the forums that existed at the time on radio were moved directly to television. In fact, many of the successful radio series went directly to television. For example, Gunsmoke, an extremely successful Western drama, was one of, among the several that could be heard on the radio and be seen on TV. By the end of uh, World War II, 95% of homes had radios, but by the early 1950s, radio already had begun to erode its popularity. Radio stations began to shift their programming focus from news and story segments to mostly music. The introduction of the transistor radio actually was a positive aspect on radio, which they were, you know, in the fear of the threat that television was going to just destroy them completely. Basically, what the transistor radio did was it basically helped with the production of cheap radios that could be put in cars and homes, and it was a lot cheaper than televisions. Televisions back in the days were like $40, $50, which was a lot of money. Back in the days when it was like, what, $0.50, $0.75 cents an hour to work? Now it's like $7.50. There's a bit of a difference there.